Hi and welcome back to Stretch and Pray. So we'll start in a minute by being still and welcoming in the presence of God. And then we'll have our five to ten minute of stretching and listening to our bodies. And then we'll finish with our really gentle meditation where we'll listen to the psalm for the day. And then we'll move into a time of contemplation and prayer. Okay. So when you're ready, come into a place that you can be still. It might be with your legs folded, but I know that's not comfortable for everyone. So find, listen to your body. When it hurts, change positions. I feel like we need to do a great pig in breath and sigh and relax into this place. And again. Good. One more. And we allow our bodies to be still and pause. And we place the palms of the hands face up. As we become aware of the presence of God. We take a moment. To calm our heart from all that's been through the day. And bringing it here into this moment. As we lay it all to one side. And enter into this precious moment. We allow our bodies to pause. as we breathe in the breath of God. We become aware of his holy presence. That is ever at work in us. May the light of God shine upon you. And may you draw closer to him. Amen. When you're ready, come and open your eyes once more. And we'll start with those lovely stretches. Take your shoulder, your your ear over to one shoulder and centre and the other side just releases the neck let's do that again and centre and the other side and looking down and all the way up Good, bring your arms forwards for that upper back stretch, pulling your arms forwards, rounding off that upper back. My collar's in the way today. And feeling the stretch across the chest, drop your chin into, across the back of the shoulders, drop your chin into your chest. Good, and bring your arms back down to the middle as we come into the chest stretch. The one that I like the best, lift up the chin, 
pull your elbows back behind you, squeezing those arms together. And just feel your chest and your body. Find some better posture as you do the opposite stretches and bring your arms back down to the center. Okay, and we move on to our legs. Take your soles of your feet together. And again, listen to your body. You can do this at many different levels and many different stages. So if you want to increase the stretch, bring the heels into your body. If you want to decrease the stretch, take your feet out. And then we let gravity do its thing, actually, you'll probably be able to feel a stretch like this. And then to help it along its way, you could either rest your hands on your knees or apply some gentle pressure. But it may be that you don't need your arms at all. And let's hold it for two breaths. Good. Okay, I'm going to shuffle forwards. Bring your arms back behind you and take your bottom away from your arms and take your legs so they're hip distance apart. And we're gently going to drop the knees over to one side. Just hold it there for a second. And come to centre and swap over, drop your knees over to the other side. Let's do that one again. And back to the second side. Good. Well done, coming back up to sitting. We come back into this position. In fact, it's just one leg that we're going to start with. So hug one leg as close into the body that's comfortable. Um, by this stage of the journey, you're still, you're, you're really starting to work out what feels good and actually which stretches just don't work for you. And we're going to take the other leg back and behind so it goes as straight as is comfortable for you to go. Now my body always turns out so I have to deliberately tuck it right the way underneath. And then we come up onto our fingertips to give an upright position and hold it there for two breaths. So if your back leg is bent, that's okay. Make it as straight as you can go. Okay, changing the stretch, reaching forwards with both of your arms, really reaching those hands. Feel how the stretch has moved into the gluteals, into the bottom again. Good, slowly working your way back up to centre. And the final part of the stretch for those that can, we lift up, oh my foot got caught on my shelving cabinet behind, lifting up that back foot. And I think this is the part um, that if you're listening to your body, I think this is the part that you may have to sit out. But for those of you, actually, you're finding this really easy. Bring your foot as close into the body as you can. 
and slowly back down. Oh, just, I love the stretching. It just eases off every bit of the body. We're gonna hug in the other leg into the center and we take the other leg back and behind. And then we twist our body so it's over the top of the knee. Lifting up. And extending through the foot. Okay, as we extend the stretch, we reach all the way forwards with our hands and we hold it here for two breaths. And slowly working our way back up. If you can, if you can't, leave this part out. We lift up that back leg and we use the hand to help guide and we bring it in as close to the body as is comfortable for you to go. And so stretching is about restoration. Stretching helps our mobility, helps us to feel better, it eases off the muscles. But this is just a time that I can come and you can come and be. And we do it in the body on purpose. Okay. And we're turning over onto our hands and knees, making sure that our hands are directly underneath the shoulders and your knees are directly underneath the hips. Okay, so we're gonna hollow up the back and drop the chin down to the chest. And swapping over, arching the back, lifting up the head. And repeating this exercise, hollow up the back, drop the chin down to the chest and swapping over, arching the back, lifting the chin up. Okay, for the second part of this. Take one hand so that your fingers are facing towards the knees. And we will do one slow circle. And a second. And circle in the opposite direction. Good, take that first hand back round to fingertips facing forwards. Take your other hand so your fingertips are facing your knees. And we're going to slowly circle twice in one direction. Before we change direction. Good. And come back up to sitting. Do some circles with your hands. And when you're ready, we're going to come into the second longer meditation moment. So come into a comfortable place. I'm giving you a moment. Um, those that have been journeying with us, you may like to lie on your back on a chair, sitting upright, placing your hands on the arm of the chair. I sit upright like this so I can read my Bible at the same time. You are welcome to use this meditation in the way that is comfortable for you. And when you're ready, close your eyes and we'll listen to our breath once more.
So as we consciously slow down our breath. We allow our body to relax. And your mind might wander and race off into a hundred different things until you're used to meditation. And if it does, with kindness and gentleness at any stage, when you notice yourself wandering, come back to thinking about your breath. And with every breath, breath, allow your body to relax. As you exhale, allow your eyes and the muscles around your eyes to relax. And your forehead to relax. And your mouth and tongue to soften and take away all the tension. May God's Holy Spirit rest upon you in this moment. Place both of the palms of the hands face up. What do you need to give to God? What reoccurring thought? And now receive all that God has for you. May God's blessing be upon you as I read this psalm. The psalm is 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems you, your life, from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you who satisfies you with good as long as you live so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. What's the word or phrase that stood out? Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. 
bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget his benefits. Who forgets all your iniquity? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit? who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Thank you, God, for this special time. Breathe in once more the breath of God. Deep and fully into the depth of your belly. And so as we finish, take your hand and we'll draw the cross with your fingertips on your forehead. May the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit place your hand on top of your forehead and breathe in. Be with you now and forever. Amen.